Omar Aleutian and Tommy Burnett present Tuesday night virtual interactive magic theater with some of the best magicians from around the world. Tonight's performers are S. Patrick Xanadu Rabina Kevin Peel Ollie McManus and Tommy Burnett And now, allow me to introduce our hosts for the evening Tommy Burnett Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Tuesday Night Virtual Interactive Magic Theater. Uh, I'm Tommy Burnett and I will be your host. I almost said I'm Tommy Burnett and I will be your head. That's how tired I am today. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, hopefully that won't be um, interfering with the rest of you. So uh, today we have a great lineup. We um, have uh, six wonderful performers, uh, five including five plus me, and um, no, we have six really good performers. And uh, our first performer is uh, no uh, newcomer to... Good evening. Uh, we have a lot of questions, a lot of viewers' questions as well, but I'll play for you. But I want to start with this. Like, how did you realize, did you know, that Omar Khan was going to start? Um, uh, we'll try that again. Um, well, somebody could try it again. Um, all right. So our first performer is a very good friend. Please help me welcome, if I can find him, Xanadu. <laughs> uh, help me welcome Xanadu. Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone's working. You hear me? Yes. Oh, OK. Perfect, perfect, great. Oh, well, get this out of the way. Yeah. Hope you guys can see me. Hold on, I gotta readjust my uh, camera over here. Everybody can see me. I'll raise this up just a little. What is that? You guys see me from there? Oh, perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right. Um, I'm gonna need a volunteer if it's possible. You know what, Uh, Tommy, pick somebody for me. Okay. Uh, here we go. Me. Thank you. How are you doing? How are you? Great. How are you? I can't complain. There's no one listening, so why complain? Exactly. That's my motto. <laughs> First and foremost, happy holidays to you and your family. And the Thank rest you. Of the All right. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have you select the card. Now, how do we select the card? It's going to be very simple. I'm going to be dealing on cards on the table like this, one at a time. Whenever you feel comfortable, just say stop. So whatever you tell me to stop, that's going to be your card. Now, if I happen to have it on my hand, you get to pick one of three places, either the one in my hand, the one on the table, or the one in the file. It's totally up to you. But if you say stop as I put the card down, it's either the one on the table or the one in the pile. Okay? All right, here we go. And one of the my favorite things to do with a deck of cards is wow, woo, give it a cut. Okay, shows you I do not have a life. <laughs> Here we go. You ready?
Stop. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, either the one on the table or the one in the pile. One in your left hand. This one here. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna look away real quick. I want you to look at the card. Can you see it? No. A little closer. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yep. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place it right about here. Now, would you say that that's more or less in the middle of the deck? Pretty close. Pretty close, right? Okay. We're gonna push this all the way in, give it a cut. One, two, shuffle it. Oh, how did I get there? Let me get rid of these. All right. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to cut the cards into three different piles, and you're going to help me do that. The way that's going to be done is like this. As I dribble, you're going to say stop. I'm going to stop, go to the next pile, do the same thing, and then the last pile. Okay? Uh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Stop. Stop. All right, perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each card that each card that we cut to. But before I do that, I'm going to shuffle them. One. Two. And then this one is going to be. So, <clears throat> all right. Wait, hold up a second. I'm sorry. I gotta. Wait, I gotta do that again. Let me, let's, let's do that again. Hold on. Ugh, how do I do that? Here we go again. You ready? Yeah. Go. Oh, the whole thing again. Yeah, the whole thing again. Okay. Stop. Okay, which one? The table or the hand? Table. The table, all right. Do you see it? No. Oh, look. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Place it down. There we go. Let's cut the cards. Here we go. Once again, is that in the middle? More or less? Yeah. yeah. It is? Yes. All right, perfect. Great. All right. Here we go again. Are you right now? For starters, can you see the cover name? Yes. Here we go. Stop. Stop. Perfect. Three different piles. Now, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to show you each card that you stop to. It's my job to try to find your card. Okay? Now, the way that's going to be done is this. I'm going to show you whatever card you cut to. All you have to say is, yes, that's my card. Even if it isn't your card, you're still going to say, yes, that's my card. Yes. Okay? Yes. Four of clubs. Oh, yes, that that's card? my card. Say it again. Yes, that's my card. I don't think this was your card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it right over here. Uh -huh. Go to the next file. Three, three of hearts. Was that oh, your card? Yeah, that's my card. Okay, now you see, now you said it a little bit different this time. First thing you said, yes, that's my card. You said, oh, oh, uh, mm, uh, yes, that's my card. I don't think this was your card either. Oh. So I'm going to lay it down here. The last file. Six of hearts. Oh, yeah, that's my card. 
Say it again. That's my card. Okay. First you said, oh, yeah, that's my card. Then you say, yeah, uh, that's my card. I don't think this was your card either. So I'm going to take this one and put it down here. Now, you stopped at three different cards, and none of the cards were yours. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to pick a number between 1 and 10. So whatever number you pick, that's how many cards I'm going to deal out. And that, that exact number should be your card. Good. Okay? okay. You ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. What's the number? Five. Five? Okay. Here we go. Count with me. That's one. one. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. And five. Five. What was your card? My card, because I wrote it down, was the six oh, of hearts. Tell me. Are you serious? Well, yeah. I, the six uh, of hearts? Yeah. OK, I just wanted to be absolutely sure that that was your card, the six That's of hearts. Card. Yeah, all okay, right. right. All right. If, if, if you're probably thinking you, you have a duplicate card, or the card that I put down on the table. Oh, okay. On one, two, and three. Good job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming out here and supporting this group. Happy holidays. Take it away, Tommy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Go, Tom. <laughs> that was great. Thank you, Zanzu. All even, right, thank you. Even with a false start, it was still great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, it happens. Um, yeah, so uh, before we continue, I'm going to say uh, happy holidays to everyone. And uh, I know with the uh, Omicron variant, a lot of uh, places are being shut down and uh, it's a real bummer, but please uh, be safe. And um, I hope you all have a uh, safe and wonderful holiday despite what's going on. Our next performer is, uh, I've been on the song now for about a month, I think. And every time she performs, it gets better and better. So I'm really happy she's back again today. Please help me welcome Robina.
It's the same act every week. This is great. Awesome. It's better every week. Yeah, it is better every week. Uh, and that's one one thing we allow here is uh, for people to work on their act. So uh, great job, be Great job. Um, our next performer hails all the way from the UK. He is a magician. He is a uh, uh, sword swallower. He is a uh, juggler. He does 
so many things. I, I think he juggles. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he juggles. Um, but <laughs> I, I swear I remember seeing him juggle one day. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe I was really high. I, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> help me welcome Mr. Ali McManus. Ali. Um, as he says, I'm a sword swallower, sideshow. Basically, I like to do weird things. Um, somebody unmute themselves, and I want you to answer a question for me. Um, okay. What would you say is the most dangerous thing about Christmas? Ollie. Anybody? Ollie. What is the most dangerous? Getting it run over by a reindeer. <laughs> okay, something that's probably going to happen. Um, most people are probably going to... Christmas tree. That's a valid one. For me, do you know what the most dangerous thing is? Cutting your finger oh, off wrapping. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> However, I don't use scissors in that way. Right there. Cool. But the best bit is cleaning them after. But you'd be wrong. <laughs> I've got two kids, you see, and they've told, they've proven something to me. The most dangerous thing about Christmas is candy canes. You'll wonder why, because um, I gave one to my kid the other day. And when he was eating it, most time they'd bite into it. Yeah, dangerous part, not the choking hazard. Um, <laughs> when he was opening it, he just kept sucking it. I know, it's a bit. By the way, Tommy, how long have I got? Yeah, don't worry about it. If you okay, go I'll keep going. If you go it's, it's all right. I have one that I prepared earlier. Um, it kept going and it ended up being a spike. <laughs> um, of course, you do. <laughs> see, the beauty thing is, I would um demonstrate on myself, however, some of you may not know. I had an accident over October and I'm still a bit nervous, you see, and I don't know if I can trust you all guys, it's been a bit too long. Um, so an orange, believe it or not, is actually a similar consistency to the fleshy part of your hand because you can feel how soft it is. So if I was to go down, you can see that it will pierce right the way through. Hence why I said this is the most dangerous part about Christmas. But this is where it gets interesting. I say it's been too long. I don't know how I can trust you guys. So hopefully, <laughs> see. Uh, just to make it easier, I'm going to look away while I'm mixing them, just so you can see. Um, actually, to make it a bit fairer, watch it. I'm going to just don't look at me too hard. Okay. Now. Ooh. Right. Does anybody know where it is? Or do they think they know where it is? Number one. Yeah, I think Number one. Yeah. Number three. The one on your right. right. Okay, so we've got one and three. Are we sure about this? Yes. I think it's one five. <laughs> okay. Now, hopefully, yeah, these bags aren't great. I made them earlier because um, 
Christmas. For you, the guys that don't know, I don't often do Christmas. This is kind of a new thing for me. So, um, Tommy, where is it? I, I think it's number two. You think it's number two? Yeah. Okay. I think it's number three. Number three. Are we sure, Tommy? Can I trust you? You can. Are you sure? Yep. Oh. You're lucky to start, Tommy. Hopefully, this has gone right. <laughs> um, Tommy, yeah, trusting you now. Which one is it in left or right? Actually, actually, Robin, tell me, left or right? The left one. Okay. So. <laughs> no, no way. Robin, you're safe. Lucky enough, something's gone wrong. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> Told you, don't do Christmas. Yeah. Hopefully. Tommy, uh, it. Tommy, it. I saw him. Tommy, I told you about this. <laughs> um, you know what I showed you with these scissors earlier? I'm gonna take it a step further for you. You know, sometimes you get a tickle at the back of your back of your nose, and you have hairs there. So I'll do mine. Look. Oh, if you actually look, you can see bogeys from last night. <laughs> but yeah, Merry Christmas. Keep keep your scissors away from kids, God. Everyone. <laughs> what will they play with? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ali. You know, that happens, happens to me uh, a lot. <laughs> happens to me a lot. Um, but uh, our next performer, he is amazing. He, uh, he comes from a, 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 little, a little state of Pennsylvania. And uh, he's been with us for a long time. Um, I maybe about a year by now. Um, and we always have something um, up the sleeve uh, or uh, behind, his, behind his mind. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, yeah. <clears throat> I was stalling because I'm. Trying to find you. <laughs> there you there are. are. Okay. Uh, please help me welcome Mr. S. Patrick. Yay! Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor and a privilege once again to be with you on this special holiday episode of the Virtual Interactive Magic Theater. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I do have to apologize in advance. I was going to do something with a pair of scissors. But, uh, you know, Ali beat me to it, so what are you going to do? Uh, but that's okay. A lot of people a lot of people don't know. Uh, when Ali was showing you his scissors, <clears throat> that little thing on the end, that little, that little stain on the end of the scissors, a lot of people think that's blood. It's not. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Christmas time. It's it's a festive holiday season, but I'm a little underdressed. I, I have to I have to fix this. So, uh, if you guys will bear with me for just a moment, uh, we're gonna we're gonna fix that problem. <laughs> Christmas, and just like the ones I used to know, where the treetops listen, and children listen, I do it, save it in the snow, oh, the snow, I said I'm a dreamer, oh, I Christmas 
With every Christmas card I write There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Now that I feel a little bit more dressed for the occasion, there we go, right over there. It's now time to do a little bit of magic. So I would like to share with you a story. It's my favorite my favorite story to tell uh, during Christmas time. Uh, and every year I get to tell the story, and it's awesome. Uh, back when I was uh, about 10 years old, uh, our family in the corner of the room, right next to the big picture window, we had this huge, gigantic Christmas tree. And it was my mom's job every year to decorate that tree. And she put all of the lights and everything on and all the ornaments and everything. And it was amazing. And, uh, one of the things she was most proud of were all of the multicolored lights that were on the tree. She strung all of those lights up by hand, and it was totally amazing. It looked absolutely beautiful. Uh, of course, though, me, being the smart aleck kid <clears throat> that I was back then, uh, I used to always play a practical joke on my mom every single Christmas. Uh, after she'd get this tree strung and all the lights strung up and everything looked perfect, she would leave for a while, and that was my cue to go up to the tree, go behind the tree, and pluck out one of those lights. And of course, back then, you know, way back when, because I'm an old guy, I mean, you know, I'm so old that, you know, people in my day used to go to drive-in theaters on the backs of dinosaurs. That's how, that's how old I am. But back in those days, when you took one light out of the tree, they would all go off. And... And then my mom would come into the room and she would notice that all the lights were off and she'd have a conniption fit. I mean, she'd just freak out um, because all the lights were off and she could never figure out, you know, where what the problem was, where the bulb was that was out, nothing like that. So she got frustrated. She got up. She went into the room with her gin, I mean, her eggnog, you know, and, and she relaxed and, you know, took some time away in that. And that was my cue to go behind the tree and plug that little light back in, and all the lights would come back on. And then later my mom would come out, and she would freak out again because all the lights were on, and she could never figure out why they would do that. And I actually did that every year for the next 10 years. <laughs> Drove my mom nuts, absolutely nuts. And as a matter of fact, because I'm such a pack rat and such a because I'm such a hoarder, I actually saved those lights inside my little Santa mug right over here. Here's my Santa platter for uh, cookies for Santa and my mug for hot cocoa. And inside, I have the lights. Now, we're going to flip over to the other camera so I can show you these lights up close. There we go. So I have 10 lights and they're all here on the mat now the neat thing about these lights is that they're clear you can't tell what color they are by just looking at them but i will tell you <clears throat> that nine of these lights are green there's only one of these lights that are red but it's not up to me to figure that part out. It's up to someone in our studio audience. So let's see here. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mona. Mona, how are you, Mona? Go ahead. There you go. I'm okay. Good. How's it going? I'm fascinated with this. My first good, question. good. Glad to have you with us. Glad to have you with us. So, Mona, here's the thing we've got 10 lights. And uh, if I uh, could get you, you got, yeah, there you go. Put a side by side right there. That's awesome. Uh, ten lights. Uh, nine of these lights are green. One of these lights is red, but it's up to you. I want you to use your intuition and tell me which light you think is the only red one. Okay. Now you have to think about it for a moment. Use your gut instincts. Use your feelings. I'm going to just kind of go over the lights with my finger just like this. 
and when we get over the light that you think is the one that is the uh, the red one just just say stop and i will bring my finger down and touch the light and we will put it off to the side okay so okay. think about it and we'll go here so when you're ready when i put my finger over the light that you think is red just say stop Right there. This one here? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take that light and we're going to place it right there on that little A symbol right there on the pad. We'll take the rest of the lights. We'll bring them close right over here. All right. Now, Mona, the only way to test a light, to make a light light up without it actually being on the Christmas tree, is with a battery. And I happen to have a battery right here. And we're going to test these lights to see how well you did. So we have our first light right here. We're gonna take this light and we're gonna place it onto the lamp. And if you notice, that light is green. We'll place it into the mug. Our next light here, we'll go ahead and place it on the bulb, place it on the lamp. You'll notice it is also green. Our next light, the next one, and even this one, we'll do three at a time. If I can get that one on there, you'll notice that all three of those are green. We have four lights left over here, and your light over here, which you think is red. So... We've got a few more lights to check. Let's check that one. Let's check this one here. Let me place it on there. And this one here. Three lights, three more lights that light up green. Now, Mona, here's the thing. We're down to the nitty gritty. We've only got two lights left. This light here mm -hmm. and your light, the one that you chose right over here. Now, it's at this point, and it's the only point in this little little experiment, that I will allow you to trade lights. Change your mind, if you will. So, do you think this light is green like all the rest of them? Do you think you made the right decision by choosing this one as the red light? Or maybe maybe making a final you know, switcheroo at the last moment? It's totally up to you. Do you want to trade with this no, light, no. or do you want to keep this one? No. no. <laughs> All right. You're keeping this one here? Yes. Uh, all right. All right. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. The last light goes on the battery. And ladies and gentlemen, yes, check that out. That light there is also green. But, folks, I know what you must be thinking. You're thinking, <laughs> he's a magician. He's always trying to fool us. You know how these things go. There's always some kind of trick involved. This light, probably green too. You know, it's just, that's just how it goes. No, no, no. Guys, it's Christmas time. It, I wouldn't do that to you during this time of the season. It's not, it's not what I do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the light that Mona chose out of 10 lights. We're going to place this light right here on the battery. And I want to show you something amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, this light here is indeed the only light that's red. And ladies and gentlemen, Mona made an awesomely awesome decision. Ladies and gentlemen, give Mona a nice round of applause for being so totally awesome. Thank you, guys. Very cool. Let me go ahead and switch back right up to here. So once again, guys, thank you for letting me come out and hang out and do some Christmas-related magic for you. Enjoy the rest of the show. Going to turn it back over to our host. Thank you, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Excellent. Thank you, Ed Patrick. And good to see uh, my friend Mona. Thanks for being here. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so far it's been really great. And <laughs> we're going to continue on the upward, upward hill climb to greatness by introducing our next performer.
who also hail from the UK, is an excellent musician, is a very good friend. Please help me welcome Kevin Peel. And hopefully he can. He's, he's here somewhere, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all right. <laughs> Oh dear, yes. Right. Okay. So let me just get the gallery up. So I need a couple of people to help me. And Tommy said, make it seasonal. So I went out and looked for some holly, but couldn't find any. So <laughs> <sighs> this is how it is. Okay. Let's have a quick look. See somebody I don't know. Uh, we've got a lady called Melinda there. Melinda, do you want to give me a hand? If you can unmute yourself as well, and sure. we will uh, add you to the side of me. Hi there, Melinda. Nice to see you. Haven't uh, haven't met you before on these no, shows. So no. nice, and nice to find and see somebody new. Right, Melinda. Uh, I have a pack of potentially they look like cards, but they are not. These are uh, what are called stock. Uh, which are photographs so these are for they are they have a you know normal card type backs uh but on the front we have lots of pictures <laughs> uh, i'm going to get you to help me select some pictures we're going to use uh i think eight we're going to use eight pictures and mm -hmm. you're going to help me select them melinda mm -hmm. so the okay. first thing first thing we're going to select is a card, one of these pictures, to help select the others. Does that does that make vague make sense? Okay. <laughs> so, Melinda, I'm going to just go down the side of the pack like this very slowly, and you will say stop. Okay. Stop. Now, do you want me to go a little bit further, or are you happy there? That's good. That's absolutely great. Yeah. Okay. So there's our selector card. That we're going to use to select the rest let's just see what okay. you've got you've got a oh lovely it's a swan the swan okay a swan yep it's wonderful <laughs> <laughs> so now to select the rest uh what i'm going to do is go down the side of the pack with our swan and again you'll say stop so stop stop there and again yeah. do you want me to stop exactly there or move a little bit more that's good. That's good. So, Melinda, I'm just going to turn over the whole of the pack. Hang on a sec. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, 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 my brain is, 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 is fried. I couldn't figure out why when I turned them over, I could see the faces, which is what you should see when you turn them over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going totally bananas at the moment. So, so here's our swan, and you chose a place to stop at. So let's just go down to where that was. So that was there. And I said we wanted eight cards. Uh, so we'll choose the next seven. So we got what we got a a, a Ferris wheel type thing. Um, oh, that's a bit of a guitar. Uh, recognize that from here in the UK, Big Ben? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's four, five, window, six, a golf club, seven, a zip, and and a, and a picture frame. So there's our eight, our eight cards that we said we'd choose eight. So let's just okay. see if we can make anything relevant out of these. I'm just going to go to a different camera shot so we can see what we've got. So these are the ones we had. Um, let's just see if I can do something with these. I think, I think if we look at those, possibly we've got something relevant. Does it is that spelling a word? Can can you see that? Can you 
see that turning into something? Mm -hmm. Holidays. Yes, lovely. Happy holidays, everybody. Right. <laughs> so that, that's part one. Holidays. <laughs> stick with me, Melinda. Stick with me. You're great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just show you these. I uh, as again, Tommy said, keep it festive, keep it, keep it for you know for seasonal. <laughs> so I got out some blank cards and some coloured sharpies and made some pictures, especially for the season. So I did a Christmas tree, I did a Santa, I did a star, I did a snowman. And I tried to draw Rodolf, Rudolph, but got, got stuck. So I just did his nose. So hopefully that's good enough. Okay, so. And I'm going to change the camera like that. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll keep that off because then it won't mess up the colors. And so these are, I'm just going to get you, can you, oh, probably better that camera angle, yeah? You can see them nice and close. Melinda, so I'll just give you the instructions for what you're going to do. I'm just going to go through these, but first I'm going to mix them up and you just say when to stop mixing. It's really a rough mix. It doesn't matter where they are, what order they are. I'll just keep mixing. You just say stop anytime you like. Okay, stop. So we don't know where they are. So it doesn't matter. I'm now going to hold them up one at a time. And when you see one that you like, don't say anything, just remember the picture. Burn that image into your mind, okay? But oh, don't okay. say anything, don't, don't make me stop. I'll just go through them slowly. You see one that you like, burn the image into your mind, okay? Okay. Okay, so here we go. So we've got uh, Rudolph's nose. We've got the Christmas tree. We've got the star. Oh, we've got an upside down snowman. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a right way up Santa. Okay. So, have you decided on one of those that you like? Tell me what it is that you've liked one of them. Yes. I'm going to mix these up again. Uh, so they're in a completely random order again. Just tell me when to stop mixing them. Oh, you want me to tell you to stop again? Yeah, just say stop okay. when you're happy that they're well mixed. Oh. Okay, stop. I'll just give them a cut so we don't know where they are, and I'll just give them another mix because I saw one, so I don't want to know. Right, <laughs> Melinda, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold them up, and I'm going to give you the number of the cards. So that would be one, and the next one would be two, etc. Again, that image in your head, now just remember the number associated with that image. Do you get okay. me? Okay. Yes. So that's one. Okay. Don't say anything again, just in your head, just remember the number. So okay. That's one. That's two. Okay. That's three. Okay. That's four. Okay. And that's five. Okay. So have you remembered the number that's in your head? Okay. So you've got yeah. the picture and you've got a number. And I'm just going to give these a cut. So again, they're in a different order. And we're going to further mix them up. Uh, what I want you to do is tell me your number, and we'll just move that number from the top to the bottom. Tell me my number. Tell you my number. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was five. Five. So I'll move five. One, two, three, four, five. So these are now in a completely random order. No one would know what they are, but you've got a picture, an image in your mind. So look at me. Let me just do that. So look at me, Melinda. Okay. And visualize this and visualize a nice sort of a big TV screen with this lovely big Christmas tree staring out at you. Is that what it was? <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. Thanks very much, Melinda. You've been terrific. Wow. <laughs> and I will hand you back to, uh, to mine host. If I can hit the right button there. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, that was cool. I like that one. That was good. You know, I gotta hand it to myself. I gotta give myself a pat on the back for <laughs> for picking all these really good performers. 
Um, and now you left with me. <laughs> Yay! Yay, Tommy! <laughs> so, um, I, like, uh, I think Ali said that he doesn't really do Christmas, like, performing around Christmas. I I don't really either. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I did have a couple of shows that got canceled um, due to the um, uh, variants. Um, but um, I, usually don't, I usually don't prepare a gift um, that I'm going to give to someone in the audience tonight. Um, I don't want to wax so, uh, um, sentimental, but um, it really means a lot that you all come um, to watch, and um, um, I hope it means something to you that we come out every week and um, try and do our best to. Uh, give you a um, a good show because we you know um, the people on this show are handpicked this is not a an open mic per se um, having said that um, I have a gift for someone um, let's see and I see a lot of people here who are new um uh to um our show and uh, again thank you for for being here um i am however going to call on someone i know <laughs> um who isn't expecting to get called on um move ella um only because she lives in my neighborhood and I won't have to uh, pay for posters. Uh, <laughs> how are you, Miss Fella? Yeah, I'll meet you. So. I am good. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and festivals, festivals for the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, for the rest of us. It's right, yeah. Um, so I made this little package um, up. I think it looks pretty nice. It says um, "Happy Holidays." From Happy Holidays, yeah. Right? Oh, great! That's sweet. <laughs> um, so you don't get the box, unfortunately, but you get those inside the box. Okay. Well, actually, what you get is if you can match what is inside the box with one of these other four items here. If you pick the right item, you get what's in the box, right? Okay. Right, because it's my game, that's why. <laughs> okay. um, so let me uh, move to a um, different camera angle here. And um, there we go. Technology. Uh, okay, so um, I have I, I picked out four um, gift type items. Um, you know, five five dollars or less. Well, we'll say not nine dollars or less, right? Uh, I think the most expensive item here is is about nine, maybe ten dollars, right? So we have um, a package of. Memo pads. There are four, four memo pads in here, different colors. So you could end up with, with that. Uh, you can end up with a, a mystery box, which I I can't say what's inside, but um, it is a uh, sentimental gift, and I think appropriate for the holidays. I also have a. Uh, in this box is a uh, Christmas ornament from the late um, 
Ron David, who was, <coughs> was an illusionist who passed away <laughs> a few years ago. It's really pretty, yeah. um, but I don't have a tree. So I, I it's been in my closet. Um, I got this back in um, 92. Um, it even comes with a, uh, a little um, a certificate of authenticity. Um, but so that's, you can win that. Or, and I know some magicians here may, may drool, drool when they see this. Um, this is a deck of cards. It's a regalia deck. It's a white regalia deck from the one and only Shin Lim, who won America's Got Talent a couple of years ago. Um, and I'm giving that away because I have uh, a, um, a ton of them. So I don't need a ton. So I'm giving one of these four items away. And if, in effect, I'm going to have you pick one, and it will be a free, a free choice, whatever you choose, that's the one we will use, right? But before you choose, um, well, yeah, I guess that's, I guess that's good enough. Um, yeah. so, um, would you like the, the lovely, uh, in my van of white here, the memo memo book. <laughs> memo book, the um, mystery box, the um, lovely ornament, or the deck of uh, regalia cards? And I'll tell you, the cards are the, the hot ticket item because um, it cost me about 10 bucks. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and again, it's good choice. I won't, um, I won't uh, try and uh, trick you into um, picking something else. Um, do, you, do you have a, uh, an item that you would like? And you would oh. I always love a mystery, so I'll go with the mystery box. I always love mysteries. Oh, how I knew, <laughs> I knew you, would, you would go for the mystery box. So um, I'll save the regalia deck for another <laughs> evening. That's very simple. Well, that, <laughs> okay. I'll take the ornament and the um, notepad, and that will leave us with the uh, mystery box. Now, what we have to do is find out if if the um, mystery box is actually what is inside the uh, gift box. And you can see that inside here, I don't know if you can hear this on the camera. Um, let me, I was just, oh my. You ain't not put anything in the box. Is it cleanable? Oh my God, I forgot to write something down. Mm -hmm. All right, well, here we <laughs> Not very magical. Um, I did write down the mystery box. Um, this is, wow. Not a great way to end the show. <laughs> um, well, you know what? I mean, um, yeah. So inside the mystery box is a seashell that came uh, from uh, Coney Island. And uh, it, was the, um, it was the first time I, I ever performed at Coney Island. Um, about 12 years ago. And oh, wow. The reason why, the reason why it's so, um, 
uh, meaningful to me is because um, I, when I was a little kid, I almost drowned in Coney Island. I was, what? I was, wow. about, I was about 10 years old and um, I was with a gay camp and um, I ran out into the water and the undertow knocked me down and pulled me under the water and pulled me down to the other end of the beach. So when I finally was able to walk the air and, and run out onto the beach, I couldn't find my group. And um, they actually left me there. This is a this is a true story. I'm not, what? I'm not making this up. Um, I don't think you can make this up. Um, and uh, long story and longer, I, um, uh, a nice woman found me and brought me to the, the local police station, and they they called my they called my parents, and and they came and got me. Um, so um, I had never been to Colorado since, <laughs> and um, when when I got the um, job to perform, I I, I, um, I was really full of fear, and, and I mean I I was a adult. I was in my fifties, but um, I uh, I did a little ritual. I, I went down to the water. I put my feet in the water, and I took I took my power back, um, and so I found this shell down by my feet, and now I'm giving it to you. Oh, you have to keep that. You have to keep that. Well, I'm, I'm giving it to you. So <laughs> uh, happy holidays, everyone, <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoy the show. Um, my my magic tonight was rubbish, but it happens. Um, at least I, I try and give a an honest, sentimental uh, story, and hopefully you like that. Um, feel free to uh, uh, hang out with us after the show. By the way, uh, we will be going on hiatus for two weeks. For the holidays, so we won't have a show next week or the week after, but um, we'll be back on January the 4th. And um, yes, so we'll see you next year. <laughs> yeah, 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 and we'll have a, we'll have a New Year's theme uh, show. And uh, yeah, so hopefully uh, you guys have fun tonight. And hopefully you will come back again. My name is Tommy Burnett. I was your host. Let's bring out our performers. Let's do, uh, well, I can't see. See, <laughs> 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 um, okay, we have Xanadu. Kevin, can you help me out here? Um, yeah. Bring Xanadu uh, out and Robin yeah. and Ollie. I just have to get the gallery up so I can get everybody. Yeah. Find everybody. Right. Where's Ollie hiding? Oaks gallery. Oh, there's there's Lee. Yeah. <laughs> there's Ollie. There he is. Mr. S. Packard. Where where is it? Oh. Where are you hiding, S. Patrick? There you are. <laughs> And finally, the lovely Kevin Peel. <laughs> yeah, enough of the lovely stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I just say, could everybody just unmute themselves, say three cheers for, for Tommy Burnett for putting these wonderful shows together every Tuesday, and to uh, Omar, who's not here tonight. So, yeah. fantastic. Thank you.